Hey guys, in this video I want to unbox the Honor 5X, the new Huawei phone, which is the uh, people are referring to a budget phone. It costs around 29,000 uh, PKR uh, with official warranty and all that. So this phone is available um, in my country, you know, uh, it, it is launched officially so you can get it from any local store. It's also available on online store, so, uh, but I recommend that you should get this phone from, you know, your local shops nearby, you know, where you live. And, uh, and yeah, I think this is also available in, in India, so let's quickly unbox the phone. So I already opened the seal, and we just have to lift the box up. So it's, so it's blue, and uh, it looks like the Honor 4C box, or Honor 3C box, so not that different, so you can see here. Uh, accidental uh, damage coverage and all that that's nice here we have the device on our 5x so I mean the $290 uh, price point you know that 29,000 is actually equal to $290 or $295 so maybe internationally it may be a little bit cheaper you know but uh, but yeah let's just take a look at the box here inside of the box so Huawei gives a lot of value to their customers so you know you're gonna see some nice packaging uh, for example we have this uh, guys of course then we have the sim injecting tool and we also get a a case here with this phone which is pretty nice which is something that most of the other phone manufacturers don't give us so we get a screen protector and a case uh, to use in order to you know protect it so you can see here it's a it's a normal silicon pouch and uh, it's like the same that I got with the Nexus 6B from Huawei uh, it's pretty nice for the 6B and it's, it's gonna be nice for the 5X also so I'm just gonna put these things on the side and here we have the charger pretty cool three pin charger then we have the uh, USB cable a uh, normal USB cable uh, for data transfer of course and then also we have these ear parts um, so they are pretty similar to what I got with the Nexus 6B so um, yeah let's just put all this stuff this side and let's take a look at the device here let's boot this phone up so of course on the front we have the sticker uh, which gives us a quick look at the specs you know it has fingerprint sensor 5.5 uh, inch 1080p HD display so I'm really curious uh, you know how this phone will stack up against the Galaxy A7 uh, from Samsung uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys want to see that video um, also 13 megapixel rear camera and, uh, and, and it has a 5 megapixel front camera for selfies and you can see this is how the sensor looks like on the back so I'm just gonna remove this and 3000 milliamp hours of battery also pretty nice um, so uh, on the back you can see here they have highlighted everything like a volume key power key um, micro SD card slot uh, then we have this uh, up sim card slot so you can actually insert like I think uh, on the top slot you can ins insert a sim card and then on the bottom you can either insert a sim card or SD card so uh, yeah we're gonna make a separate video of how to do that and uh, also we have some tips you know uh, forcibly restart the phone so they are, these are some nice tips that you should read and I can just peel it off and and I can just keep it near me so that I can uh, you know read those tips so that's pretty nice and you can see here first of all it's really shiny it's actually the gold variant and uh, it has this uh, nice pattern on the back and feels really good in hand uh, definitely not feel uh, cheap or anything like that so I'm just gonna boot this phone up here pretty quickly and wow look at that honor and I'm also thinking to compare this phone with the Mate 8, you know, that's going to be like a fun video to do. Uh, under the hood, we have Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 inside of this phone with Adreno 405 GPU. So uh, definitely it's not bad. It's, it's, it's really it's a really good chipset, uh, which I think should be able to play any game, um, anything, you know, to do any toss without any problem. So, of course, I think it's taking some time uh, with the first boot. 
Uh, it has this Android 5.1 uh, lollipop version. Uh, of course, 6.0 Marshmallow is with the Mate 8, but uh, hopefully Huawei will update this phone to the uh, Marshmallow version 6.0. So you can definitely see that it's taking some time in the fir uh, for the first boot. Maybe uh, in our speed test, maybe it will be a little bit faster. So you can also see that very similar speakers at the bottom, similar to the Mate 8. Okay, so yes, EMUI, that's what they call their UI. You know the name so English United States next uh, I'm just gonna skip it so obviously you can set that uh, stuff up you know but you do have the option to skip so I'm not gonna insert the SD card or or sim card right now so you have to agree through their terms and then next page click next uh, you can set up the fingerprint uh, ID and also touch control uh, of the sensor you know that the tricks that you can do with the sensor so I'm gonna do that stuff later uh, so I'm gonna click on skip and begin and now I will be inside of the UI without any problem okay looking really good so I mean I'm definitely not a big fan of their UI but it's really nice I mean it's really user-friendly and uh, I mean I mean if you have to like gift a smartphone to your father or someone who don't really have a uh, good uh, you know tech experience you can actually give like a Huawei phone and if you don't really want to spend that that much money on the gift so you can give them a Huawei phone like Honor 5x or something like that because the UI is really easy to use and uh, they are just they're, they're just apps are in front of you and you can scroll left and right you don't have to open up any app drawer or anything like that so this is how the notification uh, center or quick settings looks like uh, then you can also lock and unlock the phone and it's gonna change the wallpaper that will give you a very nice fresh look of your phone you know every time you press the power button it changes the wallpaper that is pretty nice and uh, and also I think you can access the yes you can access the control center type thing uh, right from the lock screen which is pretty cool like uh, you know opening up the flash and all that so I'm gonna be doing a full review obviously uh, after you know after some time you know uh, and give you my full experience also people really want to see that video uh, so uh, let me just confirm that this phone actually has Android 5.1 uh, lollipop so you can see that of course 64-bit chipset this is um, then it has Android version 5.1.1 lollipop so pretty good and you can see that uh, I don't really get that game you know you get with the lollipop but that's okay so and you can see it has 2 gigs of RAM for multi-tossing so it's gonna be fun to compare this phone to phones like Nexus 5X, Galaxy A5 so I'm really thinking about all those videos you know and uh, this might very well be the best uh, mid-range phone you know if if this phone manages to perform really good in the comparisons you know so and also camera tests I'm really into that uh, video also so yeah I will do more videos if there is any specific thing that you guys uh, want me to do then uh, do comment down below and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one have an awesome day